react to the assertions from President William Ruto to party politics now and controversy continues to dog the former ruling party jubilee after embattled lawmaker sabina chege maintained she still remains the party whip contrary to assertions from azimio leaders terming her presence unconstitutional now sabina who at one time was regarded as jubilee party leader by a faction claiming the party has refuted claims by some azimio leaders that she has been earning special packs following a directive by the National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula that she should continue serving as Jubilee Party Whip. Now, the Azimio Coalition has filed a suit in court demanding that she refunds all the monies she may have received due to that, positions, that position. And as Emmanuel To reports, the Jubilee fiasco comes two days after the party leader, former President Huru Kenyatta, held a night meeting with some former Jubilee members of parliament in Mount Kenya. It appears that wrangles within the former ruling Jubilee party are far from over as the two warring factions continue to engage each other. Hours after the Azimio coalition filed a suit in court accusing the National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula of usurping and violating the constitution by allegedly delaying to the whip denominated MP as Azimio's deputy chief whip, Shege in an interview with KT News says she's unmoved. Sabina is the wrong person to be intimidated. I'm not going to be intimidated by anybody. These guys have taken me through a roller coaster the whole year. And 24 members of the neck are the ones also who endorse my position as being a Jubilee whip. So there's no position I've fought for or have given myself or the speaker has given me. We have a responsibility of making it clear to Weta that we have nothing to do with Sabina as a whip. In the court documents, Azimio wants Wetangula and Sabina to refund all the parks that may have been enjoyed by Sabina Shege in her new role ruled by the speaker on the 26th of October this year. If Weta has given Sabina any allowance or including a government vehicle, security that is supposed to be with the office of the whip, then he has abused his office. I have been given a position. I am the whip. I mobilize. I whip the Jubilee members. That is my office and the facilitation I have. I am a whip. I am a whip. Some of the parks that a whip enjoys include a fully fledged office, staff members, enhanced security, GK vehicles, and enhanced allowances among others. I have seen her with a GK vehicle. So what other evidence do I require? Certainly, if you have a GK vehicle, it means there are other parks that have been there. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't have, no, I don't have. I have my GK that have been having it. Nothing has changed. The new battlefront also comes in the wake of heightened political activity by the party leader, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta, who on Monday held a meeting with former Jubilee MPs from Mount Kenya region, where sources say a critical strategy was hatched behind closed doors. The meeting, which is said to have been held at Azimio leader Raila Odinga's home here in Nairobi, resolved, among other things, to keep popularizing the parties in readiness for the next election cycle. But the meeting was between... Um uh, the readers of Kiabu uh, who have been you know uh, waiting to see what things how things are shaping up and the discussion that went on uh, there was uh, how do we work together and as the two factions continue to lock horns the battle will in the end produce political casualties but even as this continues the Jeremiah Kioni faction has moved its headquarters from Dick Dick Road to Processional Way, opposite State House, Nairobi. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi. All right, tough politics there for the former ruling party.